Hi guys, Jeff with Century 21 again. Um, today we're looking at 1205 Renoir Court in Virginia Beach. Um, nice little contemporary, um, I guess you'd call these like the colonial style, but nice little neighborhood um, built in 1984. Um, so, who was I make that? Uh, 35, 40 years old? Um, nice little lawn flower bed you know just kind of your cookie cutter um little suburban house one cool thing um i i always love um and i know my uh, friends love houses on cul-de-sacs um i don't know if you're bringing your children with you but you know the place where they can ride bikes and do all that kind of good stuff um going in this place i, I it looks like it was recently refurbished um in a way they've got some new um vinyl flooring throughout um i don't think it's like the heavy duty high end um flooring but um still new everything's freshly painted um as soon as you walk in the door you noticed i went to the right and this is kind of like a little um I guess this would be considered your living room or no, just kind of like a little den area over here. Um, and it feeds into what is the dining room. So at least you have a designated dining room. A um, little quick picture of the backyard. If you take a look at the windows, um, they look pretty recent. I don't think they're brand new, but um, in pretty good shape. Um, here's the kitchen. So it's kind of um, not the biggest amount of kitchen space, and I don't think it, it must not come with a refrigerator. Um, like I said, everything else looks pretty new, so I can check on the refrigerator if you'd like. Um, and also, in this one, kind of similar to the last one, has a little breakfast nook. Nice little crank windows, those are pretty cool. Um, And then to the left, you've got um, with the living room with fireplace. Again, crank windows. Um, nice little cutout go that goes into the kitchen, looking from there. So, you know, if you're cooking and kind of want to keep an eye on things in this little living room, you can do that. Now back through this hall toward the front door. You've got a big, um, this is where your washer and dryer would go, so they don't have washers and dryers included either. Um, but that's on the first floor. One bath, bathroom downstairs. Got the granite, so that's pretty dated. Um, oh, back in the middle, um, right in the entryway, you've got a little closet. And then right beside that, you've got access to the garage. So if we can find the light. Um, it's a one car garage. Um, doesn't have a automatic lift or anything, but it's clean, it's nice. Um, enough to have a little workshop or something. Now we can move upstairs. Um, carpeted. Um, I can't, I don't think it's brand new carpet or anything, but it kind of smells new. I, it looks good though. I don't see any stains. All right. So I guess there's four bedrooms up here. Here is the one at the very top. Pretty nice size bedroom, um, sliding closet. Then right next to it, you have a smaller bedroom that faces the back. One door closet, let's check that out. So, not the, not a huge closet, but definitely will work. Um, here's a good uh, view of the, ups the outside from the upstairs window. A really nice, I don't know what kind of tree that is. It's almost like a magnolia or something. This one over here looks like a Japanese maple, which is pretty cool. Maybe that's a magnolia back there. I need to work on my understanding of trees. 
Um, that certainly is an oak all the way in the back. All right. Um, the there's the full upstairs bathroom. Really nice. Um, again, just the same granite. Um, nice light fixtures. Tub. Kind of like I'm kind of digging the floors um, up here. Nice tile, like marble tile or some synthetic of that sort. Um, in the hallway, got a little linen closet. And here's, um, at the very end, here's the um, next bedroom. It's kind of the same as the other, you know, kind of like a child's bedroom area, but pretty good size, I guess. 11 by nine or so. Um, and here's the master. Nice master bedroom, um, big closet sliding door closet but um really nice size and it does have bathroom so got a nice walk-in shower and again kind of the same feel for the vanity and toilet and again those pretty cool tile floors so let's just venture um back downstairs real quick We'll take a look at the outside. Um, this is pretty unique. Uh, just instead of like a patio door or anything like that, it's just a full on door out to a concrete slab. Nice little area. You put a little picnic table, all that stuff. Nice fence all the way around. So this is to the side um, coming from the street little walkway in the entryway we got the fence all the way around you're right at the corner of you can probably hear it uh, Culver Street so it's um, busy street uh, so you can definitely hear it you just heard the cars going by um, ooh, nice little goldfish pond Let's see if anything's in it do not see any wildlife. All right, so back around. This is the other side, the AC. Um, it's Goodman AC, it looks fairly new. Um, so it shouldn't have any problems there. The siding of the house looks pretty good. Um, I haven't seen any major um, defaults. The roof, um, I know you can't really tell. Um, but it doesn't appear to be in bad shape. I don't think it's brand new, um, but I don't think you would have any problems um, with the inspection on that. So, all right. Well, that's it here at Renor. Um, hope you enjoy and uh, look forward to talking to you and seeing what you think. Have a good day.